Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is all about five mistakes to avoid when buying a property in Italy. As many of you know from previous Italian vlogs, I bought a property here in Northern Tuscany back in 2020. That's right, during the pandemic. So do check out that video. Um, it's kind of gone a little bit viral with over a million views. So obviously there's a lot of interest in buying a house in Italy. And so today I wanted to talk about five mistakes to avoid, um, to make sure that if you are interested in buying your dream house in Italy, you do it the right way and you avoid these five mistakes. So first up is to make sure that you know the area you want to be in, love these bells, and that you know it well. So Italy is huge, right? It's a big country. And within Italy, there are 20 regions. That's right, 20 regions. Tuscany is just one of them, but there's lots of other regions like Umbria and Puglia and there is Lombardy. Like I could go on and on, but I'm not gonna bore you, bore, I'm not gonna bore you with them, but there are 20 regions. Now, hear me out here, because this is really important. Within each of these regions, there are provinces. So for example, in Tuscany, there are 10 provinces, and which is wonderful because each of these different provinces have their own sort of unique flavor, if you like. They have different landscape. Um, the topography can be different. And they have almost their own kind of like historical element. So when you have sort of zoomed in and you're like, okay, I want to look in Umbria or I want to look in Puglia or I want to look in Tuscany within each of those regions, start to then look at the different provinces. So where I am right now in Northern Tuscany is I'm in a province called Massa e Carrara. Now it gets a little bit more complicated because I'm in an area called the Lunigiana. Now the Lunigiana is in Northern Tuscany, but it's kind of, you have to look at the Lunigiana as almost like this sort of valley between Liguria, which by the way is another region, and Tuscany. And the Lunigiana is like at the foot of these two sort of mountain ranges, the Apenninates and the Apuan Alps, which is fantastic. So you get these glorious um, hills and mountains and the landscape is just absolutely spectacular. For me, the reason that I chose this area is, well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, I did sort of hone in on that region of Tuscany. Now, like I said, within that region, there are 10 different provinces and they vary in uh, cost of house. So kind of the closer you get to Florence, which is in Tuscany, the more expensive <laughs> it's going to be. In Northern Tuscany, where I am right now, you can really find some great deals. And I knew I wanted to be in Tuscany, but I knew what my price range was. And so I started to look in different uh, provinces within the region of Tuscany. So wherever you decide, whatever region you decide to go, start to then really um, hone in and focus in on the different provinces and what they offer. That's so, so important. So for me, that is one of my biggest, biggest tips and a mistake that you will definitely want to avoid. Um, is to not just look at the region, but also to look at the provinces within the region. And then number two, once you've zoomed in on where you want to be, decide if you want to have a house that is in the countryside, so rural, or what I like to call urban. Now, I'm not necessarily in a big city here in Fivizano, but I am in, you know, I'm in a town where I can walk to the coffee shops. I have the bells around me. I do have neighbors all around me. And again, make sure that when you start to look at homes or you're starting to choose, make that decision. Do I want to live in the hills or 
a remote um, away uh, from a town so that maybe I get fantastic views and I'm very sort of, you know, it's quiet and peaceful. It's not saying it's not quiet and peaceful here, but of course I do have neighbors and the square is literally a 30 second walk from here. For me, I knew that I wanted to be in town. And the reason that I chose to be in town is because I didn't want to have to get into my car to go to the coffee shop. <laughs> that was probably the number one reason. To go to a cafe, I wanted to be able to walk. To go pick up my fruit and my veg, I wanted to be able to walk. To go to restaurants, I wanted to be able to walk to them and not get in my car. So for me, I made that decision quite early on in the process of buying my house. I decided to be nestled very, very close to a piazza. So it would make my life much easier when I came here. I could just literally arrive and pretty much walk everywhere within this town. But of course, there's fantastic, amazing hillside houses. So just make sure that when you start to really uh, look for your dream house, you've made that decision. Do I wanna be in walking distance of a town piazza or do I want to be sort of somewhat secluded and have beautiful vistas um, and, you know, but knowing that you're going to have to get in a car to get your groceries, etc. So that is number two uh, mistake uh, to make sure you avoid. Decide early on, rural or urban. Number three, it is worth working with an agency in Italy who can help you. And this week's video is sponsored by Property Organizer, who massively helped me in not only finding my dream house here in Italy, but took me through the entire process of purchasing from beginning to end. If you wanna know a little bit more about Property Organizer, they are a team of property finders for all Italian areas. Yes, those regions and provinces that I just talked about and they're able to advise on where to find the right property based on your needs, your budget, and your requirements. So their property consultants are able to help you, the client, identify the right location, the places around your budgets, and get this, and this is a big one, they can assist with a mortgage, which I know firsthand is completely different from any other experience in the US or in the UK. And this means that they can prepare all of the paperwork and deal with the banks, the surveyors for the mortgage. They did this with me, all in Italian, because at that time I didn't speak Italian. And it makes a mortgage absolutely possible for you to obtain. And again, it's not easy for us that are coming from abroad. Once you then establish what mortgage you need, Property Organizer can then help you focus in even more on searching for a property that can be purchased based on how much you, the client, can then obtain through a mortgage. So that then doesn't waste your time in making offers and then falling in love with properties that maybe wouldn't be feasible before knowing all of those details. To find your dream Italian home, I'm excited to say that um, check out Property Organizer down below by clicking the link because you're gonna get 5% off the fees of Property Organizer from now until the 24th of July, 2023. Just use my special code down below. The fourth mistake you want to avoid is you do want to learn the language. So if you are buying your dream house here in Italy, it doesn't mean you need to learn it while you're in the process of buying the house. That's what property organizer, they are there for that and they will help you through that entire buying process and making sure that um, you know everything goes sort of, uh, the communication is perfect regardless of the language barrier. But once you're here and you've, you're in your dream house, definitely learn Italian because most locals, they don't speak English and why should they? You know, it's, we're in Italy, this is their language. 
So take the time to learn Italian. I cannot recommend this enough. It is so important and it also, it makes you feel good. So you've seen before me here on my terrace, um, having conversations with my neighbor. Because I spent the time learning Italian, I can speak to my neighbor here, I go into the square, and I can have you know lovely conversation in the cafes, in the restaurants. I'm able to order food um, without a problem. Even when I'm restoring and renovating this house, when I go to certain flea markets or uh, you know, I'm having sort of my pictures framed. I'm able to communicate um, with those shop owners. Google Translate can only get you so far and it just adds time. <laughs> so you're going back and forth, back and forth. So definitely a mistake to avoid is to make sure that once you're nestled and settled in your dream house, that you take the time to learn the language and the locals will love you for it. I walk around here and um, I think people know now that I can decently speak the language. And it's really nice because I get praised for it. They'll always say, um, you know, in Italian that um, tu parli italiano uh, buona, you speak Italian um, well. And that gives me that sense of belonging and also it boosts my confidence. So learn the language. And the last mistake I feel that um, I definitely learned when I came here and I think you should avoid is that Italy is filled with treasures. It's an incredibly old country, especially compared to um, those of us who come from America. And there are treasures to be found. So rather than going to sort of your big department stores and furnishing your entire house with new furniture, there are incredible, incredible flea markets. And in fact, I'll be doing an entire video on some of my most, I think, prized finds and treasures very, very soon. But it's not just in this area where I am um, around here that there are some fantastic flea markets. Flea markets are scattered throughout uh, the entire country. And you can find yourself not only some fantastic bargains, but bargains that have stories and knowing that you're keeping that story alive by bringing in those treasures to your house. And then when somebody comes over, you can say, hey, oh my goodness, I found this fantastic um, piece of furniture at this wonderful flea market and I had it restored and or I found these prints at uh, the antiques market, the local antiques market, um, because there's lots of antiques markets um, that happen in piazzas all across uh, Italy. Also, there are flea markets, like I said, scattered throughout, and you can just find these incredible treasures. And it's, it's wonderful to know that these treasures are still here and you're being a part of making sure that they survive. And I think that that's really important. For me, when I walk into my house and I look around, um, in both of the bedrooms and even in the sitting room that I've recently redone, pretty much every piece of furniture and picture on the wall are from antique markets or uh, flea markets. So, and that's incredible. And that's an incredible story to be able to tell when somebody says, oh my goodness, those um, uh, bed heads in the guest bedroom, where did you find them? Well, I found them for 45 euros each at a flea market. Incredible. And just had them completely, you know, just cleaned off. And the four poster bed down in the primary bedroom, you know, that is a 19th century wrought iron four poster bed that I found as well and was able to build that um, because obviously it didn't come in one piece and build that here. And it's just an exceptional piece of history that you as the homeowner are able to continue to sort of keep alive. And I think that is incredibly important. And it doesn't mean that all of my treasures here have come from Italian flea markets. The majority of them have, but even 
the carpet in the corridor downstairs. You know, I found that that's a 1930s vintage uh, a Turkish rug and it's beautiful. So I'm bringing in, of course, other treasures from different countries as well and making it really an eclectic um, uh, collection, if you like, here so that they all have a story. And whew, that's it. I think I need to have my Americano here. That's for sure. Um, so these are my top five mistakes to avoid when buying a house in Italy. And I hope that they have really helped you. And do comment down below. Let me know what area um, you're interested in buying and why. And yeah, if I can do it, you can do it. So do comment down below and be sure to check out Property Organizer, link down below as well to get 5% off of their fees. Um, that's it, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you back here in Italy very, very soon. Bye, everybody.